Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 30 from here. Then, here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this same thing as p log m. At this here, this becomes x log 9 equals to log 30 from here. The next step, we divide both sides by log 9. At this, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9. Which implies here, log 9 cancel each other. And we have x left, which is equals to log 30 over log 9. Then, next step here, we can express 30 as 3 times 10, which implies we have x equals to log 3 times 10 over log 9. Then, yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this same thing as log a plus log b, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 10 over log 9. Watch this video to the end and click the like button. Also, share it and put your comments. Next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 10 over log 9. That is, next step here, we can express 10 as 2 times 5. That is what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 times 5 over log 9. Click on the subtraction button and also turn the notification bell on for easy access to more of our videos. It's actually free. Thank you. Then, yeah, this follows the law of logarithm, and what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 9. The next step here, also we separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 2 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. The next step here, we can write 9 as 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 3 squared. That is, all we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then, yeah, we apply the power of log theorem. This 2 comes here, 2 comes here, also from here. And we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. Then, next step here, we have log 3 cancel each other. 1 over 2 left, which implies x equals to 1 over 2 
plus. Also here we write it as 1 over 2 times log 2 over log 3. Then plus also 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3. That is, yeah, we apply change of base. Now where it becomes, and when we have log A over log B, which is the same thing as log A to base B. That is, yeah. We have x equals to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 3. And we can bring these fractions together as one. Well. And we have x equals to the SCM here. That's 2. And here we have 1. Then plus log 2 base 3 plus log. 5 is 3. That is the value of x here. We have 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 is 3 or lower 2. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 then what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 30 from here then, yeah, you can write 9 as 3 square, which is raised to power 1, plus log 2 base 3, plus log 5 base 3, all over 2. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then, this power multiplies. 2 here cancel each other. We have 3 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 is it equals to 30 from here then we apply the law of indices when we have a is to power n plus n this is same thing as a is to power n times a is to power n that is here we have 3 is to power 1 times 3 is to power log 2 base 3 times 3 is to power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 30 on this side? And 3 is to power 1, that's 3 and times. Here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a, which is equals to b. As this here, we have 2 and times here, we have 5. Is it equals to 30 on this side? 3 times 2, 6. 6 times 5, 30. Which is equals to 30 on this side. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comment. See you next lesson. Bye for now.